Alright, this is bus video number four. I'm in the middle of a really annoying job right now. I've got these heaters that I talked about. It's these guys that used to go right underneath the, uh, the seats in the bus. And they're heated off the coolant system through these lines that run down the length of the interior of the bus. And now I'm going to drain them, cut them, and then route them into themselves. So in case anybody ever needs to like uh, not listen to me and turn on this valve right here. Uh, if they turn it on and they don't do anything about capping it, it's just going to be coolant sprayed all over the interior of the bus. So I'm cutting them and then routing them into themselves. I hope this makes sense. Um, I don't think all buses have that but uh, mine does so uh, it's closed right now meaning that engine coolant is still in the engine but it's not going to get back to those those back heaters so I had the the pump was connected right here I haven't cut anything yet uh, and the way the pump would work is if uh, the engines on it should be circulating some some heat in there some uh, some of the coolant through the hoses but uh, sometimes it's not heating up fast enough so you turn the pump on and it will kind of push more of the coolant through the hose but like I said close off the valve and then over here I just cut it I had the the uh, the bucket right underneath the the tube and then I let all the coolant out and then I pulled this hose outside, being very careful not to spill. And when it was low, lower than the spot where I'm gonna cut, it uh, drained out a whole bunch of the coolant. And so now I gotta go through and try to work the rest of the coolant that's in the system through the circuit and right out. We'll see how well that works. All right, well, the lesson so far is to carry spare buckets got a nice spill here when I tried to move this one uh, trying to move all of the fluid through the system if I can I think it loops back on itself but I'm I don't know now I'm starting to wonder I'm just getting spills at random times so just go slow do it careful get a bucket and some rags and then get 10 more buckets and 10 more racks. Let's see what else. Okay, I've had a few spills, but it's coming along. I'm trying to keep this as high as possible, but now I'm realizing this heater is full of coolant. I got the one, I got one of them out, took it outside, and I basically had to dump it out like a bucket, and it just kept coming. And this one is twice the size. So I'm going to pick this up flip it around upside down and try to drain out whatever it's got into the bucket through that hose right now. And I anticipate many more spills. All right, I got the heaters out. I haven't looped the things back in to each other, but you can see where they cut off. So yeah, they come out from behind the heater here. But uh, yeah, gotta pipe them into each other. Which means I need to stop at the plumbing store to make sure I got the right uh, connections. But that's how much, this is how much coolant came out. It's like two and a half or three gallons. It's a lot. Dump both of these guys out so they're empty. I'm gonna try to sell them, I guess. And there's all the hose. Real pain in the ass. Lots and lots of spills. But it's coming along. All right, before I get too far along, I wanted to show uh, my solution to looping these guys back in on each other. I got two elbows from the hardware store made of copper. Uh, both of them just turn 90 degrees and they have the same thing on each end. And I reused the little clamps that I was able to get off of the other parts of this 
system and just kind of, and a little bit of hose, just kind of shove these two pieces into it. And then, uh, yeah, put some clamps on there. So now I've just got to get this last piece right in here and it'll be looped in on itself. And I can try to shove it back in there and see if uh, I can get it completely out of the way. All right, so it's been looped back in on itself. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the hoses to uh, to fit back in that hole. This is just way too wide. But this really isn't that big of a problem. This is going to be behind uh, a wall anyway, or under a seat. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm working on it. But put this cap back on the. Uh, this used to be where. Uh, hot air blew out and then there was a big hose to a blower that was somewhere over in this area and it would just blow out the back that way kind of reinforce it but I just capped it now the uh, coolant hose loops in on itself I've started the engine up I capped off the uh, or I topped off the uh, the coolant with uh, my standard antifreeze I asked around a bunch of, got a bunch of different answers, and finally I called the uh, Navistar, the, the makers of my engine, and they said, yeah, it's just uh, regular green antifreeze. So it's all set up. Everything's topped off. There were a few spills. I had to mop up, and I disposed of my antifreeze at a local shop. Uh, but yeah, it's all done. Um, so now that the heater's out, I went through and cleaned up the bus so there's not all these like metal shards all over the place and I got, I vacuumed off as much of the uh, fiberglass insulation as I could that was kind of stuck to the sides and so far everything looks really good. Not a lot of rust or anything. 